And now let's look at the relationship of the memory size of the main memory. That is the RAM and the address of the main memory. Actually, the design of the RAM of the main memory here is very similar to the design of the student lockers. In the memory storage location, these are the storage location. They can store data or program instruction here. And each memory storage location will have a unique, unique memory address. This is very similar in the design of the student locker. For example, a memory storage location will be equal to one storage location in the student lockers. And each memory address will be the label printed on the locker. If you magnify the photo, you can see these are the address because students need to find their own locker by recognizing this unique address. And of course, if these address are not unique, then that will cause confusion among the students because they cannot find their own student locker. And this is exactly the same picture in our computer memory. Each memory address has to be unique so that this will not cause confusion when a program is being executed. Now we can calculate the total storage of this set of lockers. So if each student locker can store 8 books, find the total storage capacity of this locker cabinet. So we have 6 columns here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 4 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, there are a total of 24 lockers. And each locker can store 8 books. Therefore, this is the total storage of this locker cabinet, which is 192 books. And now we can use the same technique in finding the total storage or the total memory size of the main memory. For example, this is the memory storage location. Let us assume each storage location can store 8 bits. They can be either zeros or ones. But how many storage locations are here? How many? So we have to look at the memory address part. So in computer, the memory address is always starting from zero. So the maximum address is 15, so there are a total of 16 unique address. So the total storage memory size will be 16 address. Multiply the storage of each storage location. And so the answer will be 16 bytes because 8 bit equals 1 byte. We have to be careful about the unit. And so we have a total memory size of 16 bytes.